Hi boys and girls and families. My name is Maura Moynihan, author and storyteller on Arthur Ashe Kids Day at the U.S. Open in New York City. I have been the official storyteller for over 10 years. I have brought my storyteller booth from my home to yours. Let me introduce my three books. Book one, Murphy Bear's Tennis Lesson, illustrated by Lee Bersman. Book two, Murphy the Tennis Bear visits the U.S. Open, illustrated by Nina Larkin. And book three, Tennis Wonders of the World with Murphy Bear, illustrated by Becky Colangelo. We have large size Murphy Bear. He is the main character. And then we have regular size so he can match his friends. And his friends are Angel Hair, Aaron Bear, Gavin Gator, Kyoko Cat, Shen Dog, Connor Cougar, and Ralph the Rabbit. So if you forget, just look at the bottom of their shoes. I'm going to ask you some questions after the story, and we're going to do some fun test drills. So I will see you soon. Relax, take a deep breath, and enjoy the story. Murphy Bears Tennis Lesson, written by Maura Moynihan and illustrated by Lee Bersman. The sky was blue as a robin's egg. Lemon lights lit the sunroom but Murphy stayed in his pajamas all day. Do you have the blahs? asked Dad. Are you down in the dumps? Murphy sighed. My best friend moved far away. Get dressed, said Dad. I have a surprise. Outside, Murphy's bedroom door was a shiny racket. I signed you up for a tennis lesson today, said Dad. I don't know how to play tennis, grumbled Murphy. It's fun, urged Dad. Soon you can join the tennis team and you will meet new friends. Murphy's eyes grew wide. He bear hugged his dad and packed his bag. Into gusty wind he pedaled hard, balancing like an acrobat. A pelican swooped in his path. Look out, called Murphy. I don't want to be late for my first tennis lesson. The pelican followed behind him. Murphy arrived at the courts and met Miss Angel Hare, the tennis pro. Her teeth were bright as seashells and her eyes sparkled like the ocean. Call me Miss Angel, she said with a smile. Let's start with a warm up. Just follow me. Murphy copied Miss Angel as she stretched. These are yoga poses, she explained. Take deep breaths to feel calm and strong. Murphy made his body into a triangle. He squatted like a chair and balanced into a tree pose. Beautiful, uttered Miss Angel. Now get your racket. First, I'll show you the forehand grip, she told him. It's like a handshake. Nice to meet you, Murphy joked, shaking the racket. Miss Angel chuckled. Don't squeeze too tight, she said. Hold your grip as you would hold a baby bird. Next, Murphy practiced watching the ball. The middle of the strings is called the sweet spot, she said. Murphy imagined his racket dipped in warm chocolate with a cherry on top. Yum, he whispered. I'm hungry, and the ball rolled off. Concentrate, urged Miss Angel. Let's try to bounce the ball. Murphy scrunched his eyebrows. Plunk, the ball hit the racket frame. Then he heard ping, ping, off the middle of the strings. You got it, she said. Now squeeze a ball to help make your wrist strong. At last, he learned the forehand stroke. Murphy started in the ready position, feet apart, Knees slightly bent and racket head is level. Murphy hummed, racket back, turn your shoulders, step in with left foot, then swing. 
he swung his racket low to high. Then Miss Angel showed Murphy how to move his feet. Pretend, she said, you are standing on hot coals. Out, she joked, and he imagined her feet on fire. Murphy walked around the net to try the forehand stroke. Are you ready, she asked. Murphy didn't answer. Can I do this, he wondered. The pelican circled the pond. Go away. Murphy hollered. He took a deep breath and got in ready position. Okay, he finally answered. Miss Angel called out. Let the ball bounce once and then hit. She tossed him a ball. Swish! He missed and whoosh! He missed again. It feels like there is a hole in my racket, shouted Murphy. Keep your eyes on the ball, Miss Angel, said with a calm voice. She tossed him a ball and smack, the ball hit the net tape. Murphy frowned. Almost, she cheered. Swing from your shoulder, bend both knees, and follow through up high. Murphy was thinking too hard about everything he had learned. He took his racket back, stepped in, and... Oh no, Murphy roared. His ball lobbed to the sky. That pesky pelican thinks it's a fish, Miss Angel giggled. Murphy chased after it. Drop my ball, he demanded. But the pelican flew far away. Out of breath, Murphy headed for the bench. I'm not very good at tennis, Murphy grumbled. It takes lots of practice, Miss Angel said. And your shot wasn't wrong. It's called a lob, but it has to land inside the lines. Murphy thought for a long time. He heard cheering from the next court. It was his neighbors, Aaron Bear and Gavin Gator. They were having lots of fun playing tennis. He finished his drink, took a big stretch, and sighed. I'll try again. Miss Angel carried a punch bag onto the court. What is that for? Murphy asked. This is your target, she said. You can aim for it, but first concentrate on hitting the ball over the net. Murphy stood in ready position. She tossed him a ball and ping! He heard the sweet sounds off the racket string. The ball arced like a rainbow over the net. I did it, Murphy said proudly. Tennis is fun. He hit more balls. Sometimes he missed, but he didn't give up. Then all of a sudden, pow, he hit the target right on the nose. Murphy pumped his fist and said, yes. Wow, Miss Angel cheered. Now it's time for a ball pickup, she said. Lesson is over for today. Can I hit some more, he asked. Gavin Gator has a lesson next, Miss Angel replied. However, on a backboard, you can practice by yourself. Let's fill the ball hopper as fast as we can. Murphy ran and made his shirt like a pouch. You are a kangaroo, chuckled Miss Angel. See you next week, she told him. Try to practice. As Murphy jumped on his bike, he spotted something in the sky. A shooting star tennis ball flashed through the blue. Thump! It landed in his bag. Murphy was amazed. He shouted to the pelican. Someday I'll be a tennis champion. He coasted home, smelling salty sea air. Over the next few weeks, Murphy practiced his tennis strokes on a backboard and took more lessons. His mom and dad gave him healthy snacks, but on the weekends he ate his favorite hot fudge sundaes. Then soon after, Murphy joined the tennis team where he made lots of friends. He got fit and always had fun. The 
Angels Angel Hair tacked a photo of Murphy and his family inside the clubhouse. The picture read, Tennis, a sport for a lifetime. Fantastic fun, forever fit. Hi everyone, I'm back. Just a few questions. What took Murphy Bear out of the blahs? Now I know if you're watching me, I'm gonna answer it, but you can think about it. His dad bought him a tennis racket so he could get fit, learn how to play, and he could join the tennis team to meet new friends. So if you're in the vlogs, good thing to do is a little bit of exercise. Do you remember what the sky color was compared to? That's a tough question. I have it here in my basket. It's inside this sky. Shown below are the eastern forehand and the eastern backhand. A typical tennis court consists of the baseline, the service lines, and doubles alley. The backhand, like the forehand in the story, but hit from the opposite side. The backhand grip, use a two-handed or one-handed backhand, start from the ready position. Shoulders turn sideways, bringing racket back, Step in towards the net with the right foot and swing. Contact the ball out in front, keep racket head level, swing low to high. To serve. Hold serve grip as shown. It is called middle or continental grip and is held loosely. Stand behind the baseline and turn sideways to the net. Toss the ball from the left fingertips and toss over front foot to one o'clock. Imagine you are throwing the racket over the net. Hit the ball at the height of the toss, step in, and finish across your body. The volley. A ball hit in the air at the net. Serve grip, ready positions, hands up and out in front. Forehand volley, cross step with the left foot and block ball, no swing. Backhand volley, cross step with the right foot and block ball, no swing. The score. At the start of the game, each player has zero or love. The first point is 15, the second point is 30, the third point is 40, the fourth point is game. Singles is a tennis match between two players. Doubles is a tennis match between four players, two on each team. 
A set goes to the first player who wins six games. He must win by two games or play a tiebreaker at six games all. A tennis match is won by the player to win two out of three sets. If the score is tied at 40-40, it is called deuce. Then one player must score two points in a row to win. The player to win the first point has the advantage. If he wins the next point, it's game. Otherwise, it's back to deuce.